was upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. This some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing. Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah, it was in the day in December. Ah, distinctly, I remember, it was in the blade December, and each separate dying ember wrote its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly, I wished the morrow, vainly, I had sought to borrow from my book sources of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angel named Lenore, nameless here, forever. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window, that is. Let me see then what the wreck is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. But the raven, sitting on the placid past, spoke only that one word, as if his soul in that one word he had pure. Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered. Other friends have flown before, on the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, nevermore. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee. Smiling by the great and stern decorum of the countenance it wore, ghastly grim and the dandy shore. And my soul from all that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating there no longer. Sir, said I, O oh madam, truly your forgiveness I implore, but the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. Here I opened wide the door, darkness there and nothing more. People prefer to leave that the word, our sign of parting birds. Deep I into that darkness, <laughs> sorry. I want to put them into it very well, I find that they can burn it. And the raven never fitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid glass of flowers just above my chamber door. And his eyes are all the seeming of demons that is streaming. And the lamplight over him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow shall be lifted. That lies all the way on the door. Never more. <laughs>